Well, folks, here we are I'm in Cairns, oh, right in the northeast of Australia, and I am going to go on probably the biggest fishing trip of my life. We have got two days going absolutely nuts, fishing the Great Barrier Reef and heading out into the rainforest as well. It's going to be something special, folks. It's going to be very special. Yeah, fish on. Oh, there's a fish going on over here. I've got a beer. There's only one thing that will get me up at 3am, and that's fishing. Never mind the fact that on this occasion, I was heading out onto the Great Barrier Reef. With over 3,000 individual reefs and 900 islands, the Great Barrier Reef is approximately the size of Italy. And as I'm sure you can imagine, the excitement was building every second. As we approached the boat ramp, the sun was starting to rise, and I'd be lying to you if I said I didn't wee myself a little. Honestly, I have no idea what to expect. This could be one of the biggest fishing trips ever. We're going to be heading out onto a cheeky little island called Snapper Island. We're going to be doing a little bit of camping on there later on this evening. Hopefully a bit of a catch and cook. Very nice indeed. But today we're going to start out, we're going to head out onto the reefs and just try and nail some decent fish. The dream fish is a barramundi. That is the dream for me. Could be tough going, but it's possible. It is very possible. Snapper Island was in full view, and safe to say, it looked pretty bloody awesome. The boat was lowered into the water with no help from me. Geez, I wouldn't trust me anywhere near a boat. I'm an absolute weapon. But the lads I was fishing with certainly did. This is Brad, AKA Captain Cucumber. Marine science teacher by day, hardcore fisherman by night, and day to be fair but still loves a fish and can't get enough of it. Then we have Jason, often referred to as the fish whistler. Some say he can whistle fish to his lure from anywhere within a 500 meter radius, but yet to be confirmed. Regardless, he can't get enough of it either. These two legends have been fishing these waters for years, and I was honored and privileged to be heading out with them. Aussie hospitality, eh? You can't beat it. After a somewhat moist journey to drop off all the camping gear, I got my first glimpse at what would be our camp for the night, snakes. That's what came to mind. Oh, and spiders, massive spiders. But putting that to one side, we dropped the gear off and blasted full speed ahead with all three of us itching to get our lines in the water. We might have got there a few minutes earlier, mind, if I hadn't let my special I'm an Australian hat blow off my head. The hat was retrieved and with the Daintree Rainforest as a backdrop, we reached our first reef of the day. Here we go. First few casts on the Great Barrier Reef. What a moment. Captain Cucumber getting himself sorted. Fish whistler getting ready to. No word. No bloody word. Yeah, fish on. I don't know. No snag. It did feel it for a second. Is that nice? Oh, there we go, we're out. That thing was a bit of a twang, to be honest. No, I've got a fish on. Oh my God, and there's a shark following it. Oh my God, a white tip, man. What is going on? Oh my God, there's a shark following it. Oh my god! Here we go! My first fish in Oz! What have we got? I don't even know what that is. Japanese sea bream. A Japanese sea bream. Nice! Guys, Japanese sea bream, look at him! What a cool dude! We've had a Japanese sea bream off the bat with a flipping white tip coming having a sniff. Oh, this place is mental! Absolutely teeming with bait fish. Yeah, look. Everything. Are they all on the sounder? <laughs> it's non stop. Wait till we run into a croc, Murray. Oh, I can't wait. Do you want me to just jump on its back and yeah. go all Steve Irwin on that bad boy? Get your finger straight up its asshole. Yeah, I've heard that. <laughs> I heard that really calms them down, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, fish on. <laughs> it's nothing big, I don't think, but it's another fish. <laughs> Oh man, what are you Aussie boys doing? And what have we got here? 
Look at this lad! He's finding Nemo on steroids! <laughs> Yeah, a cod. I don't know a cod? I don't know what type. No, don't ask me what type. What's the species chart saying? No, it won't be on there. It won't be on there. Yeah. Guys, and here we go. Second fish out here in the reef. Some type of cod. That many species, no one really knows how many there are. Or what anything. Probably some geezer does, but... I feel like if I'm with two people who know the place and they don't know what they are, I'm never going to stand a chance. Look at the colours on that fish. That's cool, huh? Watch me whip, watch me day day! Uh oh! What are you doing, son? Just getting back. What are you going for, sir? Big old paddle tail. Yeah. Captain Cucumber. Right, it's the barra. It's the lure that gets the barras. We're not fishing for barra, but I think it's going to get us something. Looking very shame worn there, sir. If I got a yeah. sunscreen on me. Yeah, yeah. Hello. <laughs> What's this bad boy? That's a honeycomb. <laughs> a honeycomb. Oh. A honeycomb cod. Nice. So the colours on him. Mate, Beauty. Captain Cucumber. <laughs> I'm loving that. With the cod, you're pretty sound in terms of don't really need to worry. I only used to towel because you're like, I don't know what it is. I was like, oh. Yeah, yeah, like you'll get spikes. You just watch. Because spikes I'm not asked about, but yeah. yeah, that's totally cool. And the spikes, but they're not venomous. Really. Okay, sweet. Oh, right, fair enough. I was more concerned that they might have been venomous. Aussie hat. Sunscreen, top off. Yeah, that's an Aussie man out on the water without a doubt. <laughs> Whilst I was admiring the reef, being blown away by the colours and varying shapes and sizes of the coral below, the fish whistler put a few rumours to bed. Ooh, pull and drag with it. That looks nice. Oh, yes. Oh, footballer trail. Yeah, get the net, get the net. Fucking footballer twist. And he's in! Nice. Yes! What are talking about? Yeah. Whoa, mate! Yeah. Take a bow! Look at that beast! So the fish whistle are doing what he does best. Yeah. And what's this bad boy? Uh, it's a football trout. Football trout, yeah. look at him! Whoa, the colours on that fish! Smashing trout for the fish whistler. Not much to report other than that, other than a few snags of late. But we're now fishing across the flats. As you can see, it's so much shallower. It's freaking mental, mate. Yeah. <laughs> it's just mental, isn't it? Just looking at the reef, you can see everything. Absolutely everything. And I'm so glad I had a shave. <laughs> it's hot. I look 12, and I'm hot. Sweating like a cat trying to bury a poo on a marble floor, the fish just kept coming. Yeah, don't know what a bummy is, folks. Got me in the reef. What can I do, chaps? This is a worst case scenario. Snag he one. Give me much. He Snag wasn't giving me much, and then right at the end, he's just gone woof right under the reef. He's in yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. You still feeling on? Yeah, but it's, he's under the reef, so play on. Just gotta try and get him out somehow. Let's see if the GoPro can tell us where he is. We're going under, boys. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go, another belter, here we are. And this is just a bog standard trout, yeah? Bobby. Beautiful colours. Bobby, um, just under 38. Almost a keeper. Almost? Yeah. Let him swim and let him live another day. Fish going bananas, beautiful saddle tail. Look at the colours. Oh, there's a fish going on over here. I've got a beer, this one needs to go back. I need to stop drinking. It's a trout! No. no, it's a cod. Co oh, it's a cod, man! Uh, the cod got it. Here we go. How many cod are we on today? <laughs> got a good flap on, didn't he? Oh, Hold your fish, Harry. Sorry. Yeah, it's hard. Gary, I'm my way, you would son. Bye, pal. Call me the cod father, baby. Hey! <laughs> Been following that bad boy for a while, I think, ain't he? So what's that, lad? A a oh, we've had a honeycomb, haven't we? Another little honeycomb. I'm learning these fish species. I can see why it's called a honeycomb quite easily, can't you? Yeah, fish on. Yes. Just a twitch and bang. 
Don't think it's any big, but... Oh, he's another Japanese sea bream! Oh, he's a... Oh, was it over when we had it at the start? I am literally, I have no freaking clue what I'm catching here. Could be. I'm literally... It looked, didn't look like a Japanese sea bream in my defence, though. Sort of. Then, disaster struck. I think this is a goner, mate. What a shocker. But also, what was I thinking? I wasn't. That was the problem. By this point, I was well and truly feeling the effects of both beer and sun exposure. I kid you not, I was fully hallucinating and had no clue what was going on. Even with the Fact 50 sun cream, I was in cloud cuckoo land, and if I wasn't in such a state, that rod would never have broke. The sun is a powerful mistress, and I certainly succumbed to her wicked ways. However, not long after this, the mother of all bait balls appeared, and I had to somehow gain some composure and make the most of it. Warning folks, my language here is abysmal, so I do apologise, but I will be dead honest with you. I don't remember any of this. Come on! Oh, it's right on him. Oh, oh, it's right back. Oh, oh, it's right back. Oh, oh, yeah, he's got it. Oh, that was freaking mad. Quick. Whip it in there again, see where the bait is. Oh, good cast. Oh, make sure he's set the hook. Look at the bait ball. Yeah, there's a bait ball right there. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Go down something on the surface right there. Oh, it is a shark. Oh no, it's a big. Oh, it's a big spano. It's a big spano. Oh, he's gone. Yes, he's gone. Yes, it's all right. You got it. Oh. That was a big spano, bro. Oh my lord. Oh, he's off. No, I'm with Harry. No, he's off. Hold on. Oh, oh. mackerel. <laughs> you got a net, man? Wait, wait, no, no, you don't need a net for that. Ah, little schooly mackerel. Nice. Ready? Watch out, he's got sharp teeth. Decent. Bro. Those shark teeth are That's man. insane. That was the biggest Spanish oh, macro I've seen in my life, bro. Oh you? my god. I'm f absolutely <laughs> heated out my brains, man. <laughs> this is the hottest I've ever fucking been. <laughs> what is going on? Well, here we go. Beautiful fish. Mental. It's going straight in the cool air. I'm absolutely fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna fucking lie. Oh, no, this heat fine. is mental, man. I'm absolutely done for. I'll be truthful. <laughs> we flipping just nailed this. I'm absolutely like gonna <laughs> collapse. Sorry for the language. I don't give a fuck. Must be lunchtime, eh? I'm fucking starving. I'm gonna <laughs> fucking drink. Mate, here we go. And as quickly as the bait ball had arrived, it had gone. Almost like me on this fishing trip. But thankfully for everyone involved, we decided to take a break and headed to a stunning little spot for something to eat and a bit of a swim. Please note, I'm still completely out of it at this point, as you can probably tell from this next clip. Well, I've, I've got no words. I'm probably absolutely like red as hell. Absolutely, this is nuts. This is absolutely freaking nuts. These boys are just off their head. <laughs> absolutely mad. And respect, Jesus Christ. Like, honestly, like, this is something else. Like, you boys are just so casual about it, honestly. I'm nice. sat here like absolutely done for, I, like, I kid you not. But at the same time, I'm loving every minute of it. Yeah, but I'm like so sorry for the lingo, I don't give a fucking shit. Like, that's literally the most sort of backhanded apology what you, ever. What'd you catch? I'm just, just getting, just getting to that, Jason. Oh. Right. <laughs> got a lot on my plate right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm living the freaking dream, I have to say. Oh, an absolutely unbelievable schooly mackerel there. Absolutely mullered by a shark. I don't even know if you can see it, to be honest with you. It's pretty much off my head. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you, I'm sorry mum. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Boys, I know we're only halfway through this, we've got a lot to come, but... Oh, yeah, well, yeah, it's only, it's only lunchtime, bro. I'm in today, but <laughs> fair enough. Day one. <laughs> so, this is going to get absolutely even bigger. Jeez, cheers boys, thank you so much. <sighs> on, no worries. Right. I've never felt more like Mr Bean in all my life. <laughs> like, literally. You're doing well, man. I'm glad you enjoyed this, it. This is exactly why we brought you. We watched your videos and we're like, oh, he's going to enjoy it's it. It's f***ing mental. <laughs> it is absolutely mental. I've never enjoyed swimming in shark infested waters as much as I did at that moment. A cool down and an apple and cinnamon muffin later and I was back alive and kicking. Regardless however, we made our way back to Snapper Island which genuinely looked like paradise.
after assessing the creepy crawly situation, we set up our tents and hammocks, and also dealt with gutting and filleting our catch in prep for dinner later on that evening. On the menu was the best tasting fish in the ocean, the football trout caught by the fish whistler, and the schooly mackerel caught by yours truly. Well I'll be truthful, I don't really remember too much about catching this bad boy. It was all a bit of a blur and a lot of swear words, I'm really sorry. But what a fish, and big cheese is doing the honours. That is nuts, you can see the shark bites, can't you? <laughs> Man, that is absolutely mental, the thin tail, well, tail there being smashed. I barely even remember it to be truthful, but it's still freaking mad, isn't it? Very cool. Cool fish, man. Absolutely been schooled, I'll be truthful with you, in this unbelievable environment. I've done some pretty mad things in fishing, but this one has to top it, to be honest with you. With the fish gutted and filleted, Captain Cucumber suggested having a few last casts just as the sun was setting. And obviously, I wholeheartedly obliged. Even in a semi-lucid state, I'm not missing an opportunity to go fishing in this type of location. Out on the Great Barrier Reef, not sunburnt, which I'm quite proud of, considering the state I was in earlier on this afternoon. Oh, fucking hell. What a backdrop. What a backdrop. Ah, that sun killed me. And I'm an absolute pussy. Like, I'm not going to sit here and pretend I'm hard as nails, because I'm not. I'm soft as hell. Soft as a proverbial poo, folks. But this isn't the end now. We're going to camp out. That's what we're dealing with. It's just a jungle party over here, isn't it? The view from camp was absolutely spectacular. And to make it better, we could see lightning bolts dazzle over the mainland. Apparently a rarity for this part of the world. Dinner was served and first up was some schooly mackerel. I'd never eaten fish that quickly in all my life. I was so bloody hungry. Before long, the fish whistler got the trout on the go, and I can confirm, it lived up to its reputation. So much so, I ended up devouring its whole face. Apparently, the cheeks are the nicest bit, and to be honest, I have to agree, they tasted insane. Eating a trout's face, what a way to end a magical day. Oh dear, definition of sleeping like a baby. Beautiful. Right, it's time to get fishing again. We were gonna get up at sunlight, but it just doesn't happen every time, does it? Unfortunately not. The fish whistler had blown that whistle hard yesterday, so naturally an extra few hours in bed was required. But the smell of bacon and coffee awakened his senses, and before long, the boat was being prepared for us to get back out fishing. Today, we were targeting a creek nestled in and amongst the Daintree rainforest. I was beyond excited to fish in the Daintree. It's the oldest rainforest in the world, and has been around for over 120 million years. Entering the river mouth, I felt as though I was in Jurassic Park. Huge palm trees, a few shipwrecks, and dense mangroves lined the brackish water basin. It brought home the remoteness of where we were, and I couldn't help think about the various people over the years who'd boated up this creek. The target species was mangrove jack, and if we were very, very lucky, a barramundi. The mangrove jacks lived deep in the roots of the mangroves, and it was essential that my soft plastic got as deep into them as possible. It wasn't long before I had my first non-snag related hit. Yeah, fish on. Nice. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> Freaking class! Yeah, nice. Behave! Go. Oh, you beauty! Freaking come here! Yeah, it's a jack. He's <laughs> on the board. We're tagging, bro. Beautiful. Mangrove jack. Yeah. Beautiful. My first mangrove jack, and we're going to get him tagged. Good old bit of conservation. Here we go. The update, the location, and the number to call. Happy days. Only a small guy, but I am buzzing with that. Absolutely buzzing. Tag. Beautiful. Mangrove Jack. In the creeks, what we came for. Yeah. And Barramundi, but that's that's yet to be discussed. That's, yeah, but wait. fish here, man. Yeah, nice. Buzzing Sweet. with that. Absolutely buzzing.
Off he goes. We worked our way back down the creek, and as Captain Cucumber was filling me in on some local knowledge, the Whistler was at it again. And you got the lovely uh, Thornton Peak in the background there, one of the highest mountains in Queensland. Yeah. Smack bang in the middle oh, yeah. of the Daintree rainforest. Jason's on. Oh, yes. The timing on that. Oh, that's a good jack. Boom. Jason, take a bow. Beautiful fish. Mangrove jack. I'm learning what these species are. This man knows what he's talking about. Pretty cool fish. Nice big chompers. You wouldn't mess with them, would you? <laughs> he's gone. The barramundi weren't biting, unfortunately, but regardless, that was special. And probably my highlight from the whole two days. That really is my type of fishing, mainly because of the skill involved, but also because of the remoteness. However, before we headed back to pack up camp, Captain Cucumber was adamant we needed to fish a few inshore reefs. And I can tell you for free, I am so glad he was. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, nice. What is MSP. Here it is. Isn't yes. It? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, I'll get the net. You know a Maryland. <laughs> yeah. It's a juvenile one. Yeah, yeah. boy! That's a sick fish. That's what we were after. Oh, nice. Still don't know what it is, but we're living the dream in MSP. <laughs> yeah, Mary <laughs> Sea Perch. <laughs> Mary Sea Perch. Porch, oh, perch, gross. bream. Look at that. Oh, folks, take a bow. Look at that fish, man. <laughs> Beautiful fish. <laughs> I know in the UK we don't use lip grips, but these fish have got teeth like hell, mate. <laughs> you don't need that. But let's get him gone. He's back. Beautiful. <laughs> well done. Australia is freaking sick. <laughs> look at that guy. Look at the colours on him. A honeycomb cod. He's cute as. Be free, sir. Yes. That looks That's insane. Insane the colours on that fish. Beautiful. Yeah, got some more teeth on the jacks. Yeah, mate. Help with the first thing. So much diversity. Yes. It's such a cool fish though. You can see how it camouflages well so well, can't you? Absolutely destroyed that lure. Taking the prize for the smallest fish of the day. I'd love that prize, mate, so don't even worry about it. Ending this trip with a top water fish would be absolutely insane. Tell you what, folks, this is something else. It really is. Like, I've been so lucky the last 18 months. The places I've been, the fishing I've done, the people I've met. Instead of spending money on expensive tackle, come fishing around the world and you'll be blown away. Well, folks, this has been unreal. Look at that sand behind me. Look at the location behind as well. It is something else. And safe to say, this has been an experience for me, right? Like, come on. Sorry, there was fish literally just then. Absolutely mad. I cannot express how much fun I've had on this. And just for the experience as well. So, boys, big thank you. Oh good mate, glad you enjoyed yourself. Oh, flipping smashing. It's such a, so different. It is so, so different to anything that I've been used to. But I tell you what, it was tough that first day. I well underestimated the conditions, underestimated the fishing, everything. But hey, oh, what can we do? We've had a good time and I've been out in the Daintree Rainforest fishing. Tight lines, folks. Keep bloody fishing. Oi, oi, Savaloy.